When students are signed into their Chrome browser, they will all have access to the Read and Write toolbar, which has a lot of cool features that they can use in Google Docs and while just being on the internet. A couple of the ones I want to focus on today include the speech to text, where when students click on here, it'll turn their speech into text in the document. So for example, good evening everyone, period. How is everyone doing tonight? Question mark. New line. Today, we're going to research the Rainy River District School Board, period. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job of recording what I was saying. So then maybe students had the text in front of them and they wanted to be read to them. So one thing you could do is you could put your cursor at the beginning and hit the play button and it'll read back to them. Good evening, everyone. How is everyone doing tonight? Another neat feature of the Read and Write app is maybe students have read something and they don't know what that word is. So maybe we highlight the word river. We can have just that word read to them. River. And maybe students want to then learn what a river was. And if it's a younger student, maybe they click on the picture dictionary and it'll show them a picture of the river. Or we can get a text definition by clicking on the other dictionary. Um, another neat feature is that because we're independent learners and we want to take it a step further, we highlight the Rainier River District School Board and we can go to the Fact Finder, which will open up a new tab and automatically search for Rainier River District School Board in Google. Now we're on the internet, but we still have the Read and Write app available to us. So then maybe I want to have it read to me, I could highlight it and it will read whatever I have selected by hitting the play button. The Rainy River District School Board is a school board in the Canadian province of Ontario. The next thing we could do is we could open up maybe the Wikipedia page on the Rainy River District School Board and maybe we go through and we want to take some key information. Maybe we're doing a report on or a research project on Rainy River District School Board. So I highlight that information, I click my Read and Write app and I'm going to highlight that in yellow. And then maybe I want to just take the key information from uh, maybe the schools, the high schools in the district. And I can highlight them in whatever color I want. It doesn't really matter. It's just for my own preference. And then I can collect all those highlights and it will extract my highlights and import them into a new Google Doc with a link back to my source page. So there's a lot of cool things we can do with the Read and Write app. Um, and it's really cool because it levels the playing field for all students.